Hello my friends, this is VRL and in this tutorial we will learn a very cool trick in Power Query in Power BI to transform tables with multiple headers. We will transform the table in the left that has in the columns two headers, one the month and one the sections of the stores, into the table in the right with the standard tabular table. You will learn quite a few interesting technique in this tutorial even if you don't have the exact scenario in your work you will learn a lot of useful technique for other scenarios. Let's go to Excel. We will do this in Power Query in Excel but the identical procedure is in Power BI. So we go to Data from Table Range. The first thing to notice is that uh, Power Query promoted our headers. We do not want this, so we delete the promoted headers. The idea is like this. We have to find a way to fill in the right the month, okay, January, to fill it here where we have null, and then to merge January with the section, January, the two rows. The problem is that you cannot fill in the right or the left in Power Query, you can only fill down. And the second problem is that you cannot merge rows, you can only merge columns. So, how do we solve this problem? The first thing that comes to your mind is that maybe we have to transpose this table so we can fill down and then merge the columns. So we go to Transform, Transpose. Now we can go to the first column and fill down here the month. Okay, fill down. And now we have correct the months. Now we have to solve the issue with the merge of the first uh, two rows, the headers. So now we can just merge these two columns and we will use a delimiter for them, we have to choose a delimiter that is not already in our table. So we choose one custom, for example the end delimiter, because we will have to split it again with this delimiter. Now that we solve the two problems, we can just transpose back the table. So now half of our problem is solved because we have our headers combined. What we can do now? Uh, we can promote the headers, but let's put also the store code here in the header. So we will go to the first column and replace the end sign with the store code. So we go to replace values the end sign with store code. And now we can promote the headers. Go to home, use first row as headers. Now the next issue is we want to split the headers, but we cannot split on the rows, we can split only on the columns. So what this means we have to unpivot the columns. So we just select the first column and go to unpivot other columns. And as you can see, magic happened. We already have our data almost correct. What we can do now is just split this column by delimiter. So we choose again the delimiter, the end sign, okay, split at each occurrence of the delimiter. The idea is that you can have multiple uh, layers of the headers, not just two, as in our case, but you ha can have ten. And you will have each, after each one, this delimiter, and each occurrence of the delimiter will just solve the problem. So we press OK, and now uh, 
we have our data in the correct mode we just need to rename the columns month section and we have the solved problem so i hope you enjoy this video please like and subscribe thank you